now talk about the Flying uh, Eye Hospital. Now, uh, that's a project by an NGO called Orbis International. The Flying Hospital landed in Ghana last week to train eye surgeons at the Kolewut and uh, Konfuanoche teaching hospitals and also to perform some selected eye surgeries in collaboration with the Ministry of Health. And you'll be dazzled by what these people do. Uh, you see behind me that flight there. That is what they do, all the things they do in. Uh, Morris Geary is the director of Flying Eye Hospital, Orbis International. Uh, he's here. Uh, Adolf Olenu is country director of Orbis Ghana. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Thank you. So, so, Morris, I'll start with you. What does uh, the Flying Eye Hospital do, really? Yeah, so on the Flying Eye Hospital, uh, our focus is on providing training for local eye care professionals. So we're training ophthalmologists, nurses, anesthesiologists, and biomedical engineers. And the, the focus really is on delivering them with the skills they need to uh, improve their surgical skills and the care that they can provide in their communities. Mm. And what is driving this? So what's driving it is, is a need for uh, access to better eye care globally. So 90% um, of uh, avoidable loss is actually in uh, low and middle income countries. So we know that the, the access to services is, is great uh, and we're trying to play one part in that. So here in Ghana, we've been working for over a decade, Adolf and his team, working very closely with the Ministry of Health uh, and the Flying Eye Hospital is coming in to play one part in that, uh, in partnership with them to try and improve the, the surgical skills and the delivery of care available here. And I read um, Kolebu and Konfanoche. Mm -hmm. Are these the only two institutions or...? So our, our training is going to be uh, based physically at those, so in Accra uh, with, with Kolebu and uh, in Kumasi at Konfanoche. Uh, but we're actually bringing uh, doctors and nurses from around the country, so from 23 other hospitals across Ghana. Okay. Let me bring Adolf now. Adolf, so I'm, I'm told you've been in operation since 10 years ago. Um, what, what, what has the experience been like for your team? And, and what do you think needs to be done apart from the training you're doing to really improve the healthcare services in the eye area? So, you know, thank you so much. And as Maurice rightly mentioned, 90% of all people suffering from vision loss are found in lower and middle income countries, like countries like Ghana. So for the past 10 years as an organization, Orbis have been working very closely with the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service, Ghana Education Service to help strengthen the eye health system. So our work has been a direct collaboration with them, looking at the existing system and then trying to plug in eye health into it on all the levels to ensure that we can address some of the challenges with access. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and we're expecting that we're pulling 25 people from across the country. Which regions are they coming from? So for the training, as in the game, you know, with their host institutions, uh, Konfanochi Teaching Hospital and Kualibu Teaching Hospitals, but all the participants, and there are more than 25 participants, but they've all been selected from across the country. So there is not just one particular place that we are selecting the participants from. And then the participants were also selected based on uh, availability of human resources and then um, the need for training as mm. well. So we work very closely with the various professional groups to select the participants and, and the health facilities. Uh, Morris, how do we measure the impact of, the, of this, the trainings that you do? Yeah, it's a great question. I think that that that's one of the reasons why I think our best projects are done in places where we have a country office, where we have these long-term relationships with the Ministry of Health. And the other thing I think is really important for the Flying Eye Hospital project is that we partner with teaching hospitals. So you see here in Accra, mm -hmm. you know, it's here in Accra and in Kumasi, okay. our partners are teaching hospitals. So they really are sustaining the long-term goal of training the next generation of eye care professionals and we're, we're just able to come in and, and play our little part in that. Oh, okay. Uh, quite, quite. So, Cape Coast has a teaching, uh, teaching, uh, uh, teaching hospital. So, it means that one day, one day, it will get to Cape Coast Hospital, right? Mm. Uh, because it's a teaching hospital out of, not, not so. Yeah, you know, so our goal is eventually to 
you know, increase access, which is very important. And then um, once we are currently, you know, as I mentioned, we are in Greater Accra and Ashanti region and over time and then with the right level of support, we will be able to expand to um, other areas to ensure mm -hmm. that everyone will get the quality eye care services that they need without necessarily traveling for longer distance or even going outside when the you mention the right support what support are you looking at you know so um first of all we would like for we we are working with government to have a national eye health policy that would also serve as a guideline a framework for eye care services across the country that we are also very committed to working in then we would also that we've received a, a lot of support from the Ministry of Health and in the other institutions that we have uh, been working on. And we are really counting on that support being consistent and then we can continue on that to build upon our current uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Gary, I, I read that you came here last week, right? Mm -hmm. How has it been so far? Oh, it's been Boy, wonderful. Too. Yeah, yeah. So this is my second time in Ghana myself. Mm -hmm. I was here in 2019 when we did Flying Eye Hospital Project. And for my project, it's actually the fourth time we've been in Ghana. Mm. Uh, this time has been amazing. It's sort of met some old friends from 2019. Uh, and just the welcome we've had and the hospitality has been incredible. And mm. I must say the support we've had at the airport has also been amazing, which we need a lot of support from Ghana airports and the aviation authority to make our project possible. And things there have been running really just seamlessly. So, mm. so you, you do, you will, and it takes some surgeries as well. So here in Accra, all of our training is simulation training. Okay. So we're using virtual reality and artificial eyes to, to train the surgeons and using high fidelity mannequins to teach the, the nurses and anesthesiologists. We're going to send a clinical team up to Kumasi uh, and they will do some live surgical training. Uh, so with patients from CATH uh, and training the doctors from there. Okay. All right. Uh, but, but, and what would be the assurance for, because as you say, they will do live trainings, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll be operating on people. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's the assurance that um, if they're operating on me, for example, mm -hmm. what, what should be my confidence level that it is on me that, that these guys will be undertaking the trainings? Yeah, it's another reason why our partnerships are so important. So we, we partner with our partnership with Comfort uh, Noche Teaching Hospital. It goes back many years. Uh, so the patients are patients of that hospital. The surgeons being trained are surgeons of that hospital. So Orbis will come in. We have a huge pool of volunteers that we actually bring to international experts that we bring to deliver the training. So the confidence level should be very high. And uh, our goal is that after our pro program, the confidence level in the, the uh, surgical confidence level at that hospital has improved as well. Mm, okay. Um, maybe I have to put this question to Morris because you chose Ghana 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide that out of all the countries in West Africa, it's Ghana that you choose? Mm, great question. Uh, I think, Adolf, do you know more about the history of Orbis in Ghana? Um, I will have to get back to you with you know, all the details, okay. but okay. it's around that time that there were Orbis International was expanding our footprint in Africa and then Ghana happened to be the country that was uh, provided the right environment for us okay. to um, expand our work here. But I can, we'll get okay. to you. I, I, was, I, was just, I was just imagining, could it have been that at that time we had a certain high rate of people with cataract or something, and that prompted it, but, but that's fine, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the, the response. Um, what is the future looking like for Orbis in Ghana? So for Orbis in Ghana, we are very committed to um, supporting the eye care system and with the great partnerships that we are currently enjoying with the Ministry of Health, the Ghana Education Service, the various other institutions, we are looking forward to building on our current successes and then expanding our work and our footprint across the country because you know the most important thing is making sure there's access to quality eye care services across mm -hmm. the country. So if say the people of Cape Coast Union Hospital are watching us now and they, they feel like, well, this is a good thing that can help us improve the services we render in our hospital in Cape Coast, mm -hmm. is there any means that they could probably take the step in getting Orbis to be a partner so you take the Flying Eye Hospital to them? 
So I, I would say with the Flying Eye Hospital, because it's an aircraft, it always needs to be in at the airport. But with our long-term work in Ghana, we are training participants from all over, eye care workers from all over the country. Mm -hmm. So we can be rest assured that we would have participants coming from Cape Coast. Cape Coast and other parts of the country who would benefit from the skills that would, they would be impacted onto them and they can take those skills back with them to provide services to okay. uh, their mm -hmm. uh, community members and benefit. Uh, what, what, Maurice, what challenge do you encounter in your operations and what, what sort of support services do you need to enhance this, the work that you do for humanity? Mm. I think one of the things that keeps my job so interesting over many years is that every time we do a new project, we face a new set of challenges. Oh. A lot of it is, is logistical challenges, you know, bringing the aircraft, things like that. That's why our partnerships in country are so important. You know, a strong relationship with the Ministry of Health is essential. We can't do our project without it. Uh, also on the aviation side, strong support from the airport and, and aviation authority. Uh, also internationally, our, our sponsors, you know, so this project is only possible because of the support from our sponsors, Alcon, uh, FedEx and Omega. Uh, so they're sponsoring the Flying Eye Hospital so that we can bring it to different countries throughout the year. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so Maurice Geary, uh, start of Flying Eye Hospital, Obes International. When are you expected to leave Ghana? Uh, I'm, we're scheduled to fly out on the 4th of November. 4th of November. Oh, so yeah. you'll be here for that long? Yeah, three weeks the, the oh, project will be here. Okay. Yeah. So for three weeks, you'll be training these people through various uh, eye surgeries that, that they need to be performing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So next week, we'll be starting the training in Kumasi, but also continuing the training here in Accra. Accra. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, Maurice, if, if, uh, I mean, I'm interested in what you do because this is, this is good. Those of us who have eye problems, who need the best of specialists to take care of us. So it's good that we're giving in-service training to them to sharpen their skills. Um, what must we expect to be Orbis International's um, contribution to the eye, se eye care sector of Ghana in the next five, 10 years? So I would you know, also mention that we have just opened up a brand new office in Ghana that is actually a commitment to Orbis's, uh, it's a proof of Orbis's commitment to supporting eye care services in the long term here in Ghana. We recently got support from the Amon Foundation to implement a three-year project in uh, strengthening the um, healthcare system for eye health. And so with that, we, we, we are looking forward to building on some of these. And then in the next five years, as you mentioned, we would have been able to train more people. We would have supported with uh, having the right uh, um, environment in terms of the policy and to provide eye care services and then have the systems in place that would support the work that uh, would that would support efficient and quality eye care services across the country and we are committed to being a part of that all the way. Uh, uh, Adolf Oleno, grateful to you for coming through. Thank uh, you he's country that. director of Obes Ghana. Um, Morris, I don't know if you have any last words you don't want to leave with our viewers before you take a leave. Uh, I think my last words really here is just, again, just talk about the partnerships that we have. I think that the, the problem uh, for access to eye care is, is large and that the uh, solution can only be achieved through really strong partnerships. So our partnership here with the Orbis Ghana office and the Ministry of Health in particular is, is going to uh, help us see change in the future. Maurice Geary, grateful for passing through. He is director of the Flying Eye Hospital, Obis International. This is still the AM show. We will take a break here. When we return, we'll still have more for you on the show, please. Don't go. <laughs> Thank you.